These sites have been assigned different science themes. So in some sites we are looking at climate change and others we're looking at gradients of land use. We're also looking at things like timber production. NEON will provide data that is collected by sensors on the tower, in the soil, and in aquatic systems, both lakes and in streams, as well as by making observations on the land and in water. In addition to that, we are going to be collecting data by sensors that are located on our airborne unit that are going to fly over each site every year. And so by having this co-located set of data coming from each of our sites, we hope to really inform these grand challenge questions. So what we have resulted in is a generalized site design. This is what it looks like on an actual NEON site, Ordway Social Biological Station down in Domain 3 in Florida. And while this is the specific design to Ordway Swisher, this is actually representative of what we will be implementing at most other sites throughout the US. Uh, so within this, you can see that we have a tower that is located within the site and then surrounding that tower location, we have a number of observations that are made for the terrestrial observation system that their intent is to scale very closely with the measurements that are coming off of that tower. We then have a series of other observations that are made distributed throughout the site. Those measurements are co-located with each other to increase the value of each of those measurements so that we can create the linkages between observations of different kinds of organisms. In addition, that data will be used to scale with the data that's being taken by the airborne platform. At Ordway Swisher, we also have two different aquatic sites, two different lakes called Suggs and Barco. And we have also worked to make sure that we can ensure linkages between the data that's being taken in these aquatic systems with the data that's being taken on the terrestrial system. So surrounding the lakes, we have different measurements of riparian habitat, we have groundwater wells, and then we have different kinds of sensors that will be located within the aquatic system itself, and then observations that will be made by field crews within that aquatic system. And this is, again, getting to the general strategy of NEON, where we're utilizing observations made on short time frames and on smaller spatial scales by both the sensors and by the field operations crews to then combine that with the data that's being taken by your airborne unit and then with other data sets that are available in the community, such as data that's collected on satellites, to create a full look at what's happening on the continent and the kinds of changes that are happening to ecosystems on this continental scale. On the very first level is that actual collection of the raw data, either by a sensor or by field crews who are collecting that data. The data is then processed through a basic level of QAQC. The sensor data is calibrated within our automated data portal. And then eventually that data ends up getting pushed out to the actual data portal as an L1 data product, which is the basic level of QAQC data.